Welcome to Mathematics with Tom. I am Tom. And today we're going to solve the system of differential equations with the differential operator. So here's how we do this. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to so, uh, treat these as the null equations. And so I'm going to write this as y1 prime minus 4y1 minus y2 equals 0. And then on the other side, let's group these. I'm going to put these in the order. So I have a minus 3y1. Then I have a plus y2 prime minus minus 2y2 equals 0. Now, let's write these using the differential operators. Well, in re when we do this, we're going to have to do this by their specific uh, function. So we have y1, and we can also apply it with y2. So this first one, I can write this as d minus 4 times y1 minus y2 equals 0. And we can do this again as minus 3y1 plus d minus 2 times y2 equals 0. Now, uh, we could solve for either y1 or y2. I'm going to start with start by finding y1. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to eliminate eliminate y2 and I think all I have to do is eliminate y2 by multiplying multiplying by d minus 2, d minus 2. All right, so let's do that. So if I multiply that first equation by d minus 2, then I'm going to, I'll, I'll write this out so we can see this. This is going to become a d minus 2 times d minus 4 y1 minus d minus 2 times, oops, y1, y2, it still equals 0. And then the second equation, we don't have to change it. This is minus 3y1 plus d minus 2 times y2 equals 0. And now if I just add the two equations, then what I have is, is I have this. I have uh, d minus 2, d minus 4y1 minus 3y1 equals 0. And let's distribute and then combine like terms. So we're going to pick up, uh, I'll, I'll write it out. So this is going to be a, a d squared minus 6d plus 8y1 minus 3y1. If we combine the like terms, I have an 8y1 inside the parentheses, and I subtract 3y1s. So this is d squared minus 6d plus 5y1 equals 0. And remember, we said this is just if we let d be, we substitute in the value of s. This is just our characteristic polynomial. So really, all I have to do is just solve s squared minus 6s plus 5 equals 0. And we can see that's going to factor into s minus 5, s minus 1. And there we have it. S is equal, I'll put them in order, is equal to 1 and 5. Now we can write our solution. So our solution comes from this. You can use either of the two equations. In this case, though, uh, I think, oh, let me write, I'm sorry, I got ahead of myself. Let me write the solution. So here's what we have. So we've just found now that y1 is equal to c1 e to the 1t plus c2e to the 5t. There we go. Now, here's where it gets more interesting. So for interesting things, let's grab another color, like this pretty blue. Now notice this. If I saw, I have y1, and I, and I want to solve for y2. Well, here, if I use this first equation, y2 there's, is very easy to find. I would just have to subtract the 4y1 and plug in my values, and I would have my solution. If I chose to solve, find y2 using the second equation, notice that, requ that requires knowing a y something about y2 prime. It's going to get you a, a more difficult linear e differential equation to solve. So I'm going to take the easy route. I'm going to take the easy route. And let's find y1 prime. So y1 prime is c1e to the t plus 
5 c to e to the 5 t. There we go. And then now, now look at what we said. Our, that first equation just says that y2 is equal to y1 prime minus 4y1s. So let's write this out. So this just says that c1 e to the t plus 5 c2 e to the 5t. And now we're going to go minus, so minus 4 times y1. Well, that's c1 e to the t minus 4 c2 e to the 5 t. And I think there we have it. If we combine our like terms, this is going to give me, I'm going to come up a little bit. This is going to give me a minus 3 c1 e to the t and plus 1 c2 e to the 5 t and there is y2. And that's how you solve a system of differential equations using the differential operator. I hope that helps and thanks for watching.